You are watching Eternal Warrior on MTGO Academy featuring Rex Start. Hey everybody, it's Chris, MTGO's Rex Start, and we are playing a uh, Esper, Stonelade, Esper Stoneblade list today. And um, I am on the draw, and I'm going to have to mulligan this. Um, that one I will keep. He's not a turn one deck. He's affinity. That's not good. I did not have a good affinity matchup at all. Um, the deck did, does have a couple of uh, main deck um, um, uh, supreme verdicts. So he's um, he's got. Uh, I'm gonna play Frogmite here. He's down to two cards, and is this going to be a, okay, it's a Ravager, all right. Okay, well, I have a second Swords to Plowshares, so I think, um, I don't know what his one card left in hand is going to be. Um, so, um, if I try to swords the Ravager, he can um, move all in on the Frog Might, and then I can eat that later um, with the other swords. Um, but I probably want to wait and see if he has a cranial plating. Alright, he's going to eat the Springleaf Drum. He's going all in on that Ravager. Wow, he's really going all in on that Ravager. That seems somewhat bizarre. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Let him move him on to Frogmite. And then I'll get the Frogmite next turn. So I'm going to take seven here. was a very all-in play. <laughs> um, seems extremely risky. Well, let's see. Um, I'll go ahead and um, see. Do I want? To, what could he be holding back? Um, do I want to bother thought seizing him here? Or do I just want to go ahead and start beating down? Probably do. Play Stone Forge. And, okay, he's going to scoop. I would have had to decide there whether to get Batter Skull or Jite. Um, all right, so sideboarding against him. Um, Supreme Verdict might even be too slow, but it seems better than a lot of the other options here. Um, Disenchant looks good. No spell snares to catch ravagers or um, cranial platings. Engineered explosives looks good. Um, Jace is not good here. I don't know about actual counter spell, if that might just be too slow, also. Um, would I like to bring in like meddling mages? I don't think so. Again, I mean, I can name cranial plating, but he might have one out by the time I could even land it. Um, so, I think I think maybe that looks good. The only other question is whether I want to bring in maybe some additional removal like Detention Sphere or Vindicate. 
and I think I could probably pull hmm see on the draw I don't know really don't know here I'm gonna try this but um, I'm not thought sees is kind of dicey too because he could just dump his whole hand but I'm not really enamored of any of these other options. I mean, some some of these cards look relevant. I mean, there's removal spells here. There's True Name Nemesis, which can be through his field, but I think I'm just going to try that. So, uh, my opponent um, helped me quite a bit there. Um, I'm going to keep this. It has Brainstorm, a Stoneforge Mystic Swords to Plowshares, a relevant spell against him. Um, I know my opponent's a little all in. Ornithopter. That's his only play on turn one. All right, so significantly less <laughs> explosive here. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and lead on the Tundra. That seems like an odd keep from him, unless he's just playing this real, real, real loose. Um, I'll go ahead and lay down Stoneforge Mystic, because he can have some, if he has some crazy explosive turn, I can always um, try to counter with the engineered explosive. So I think I will go ahead and just play the Stoneforge Mystic out. Okay, now I have to decide if I want the Gta or the Batter Skull, and I think I'll get the Batter Skull, because I may yet end up having to blow an Explosives on two. Alright, now he has a Artifact land, so let's see if he gets a little more Explosive here. No, not really. Potentially has one more mana tapping that Ornithopter, but uh, it's not going to use that. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I will play the, what am I going to do? Probably Violin, um, the Batter Skull, and then I'll keep that open in case I need to cast swords also. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he kept that hand. It didn't seem that good, but I that makes me suspicious as to whether he has something else going on, but um, all right, he's gonna. Does he have like a gal blast? Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let me brainstorm. Maybe I find a spell pierce. I found a force. Um, that's not bad. So I can put back Tundra and Tar Pit. Shuffle those away and force the Galv Blast. Oh, he's got a spell pierce. Very nice. Um, well, okay, I guess I can go ahead and just pay it. Um, so I'm still going to drop that fetch land. And... Shuffle away those other two. And we'll swing in. And 
Jason. He's tapping three for an etched champion. Etched champion is going to be very good. Um, I don't have any way to deal with that, although our generic explosives will take care of it on three if I want to do that. It's going to take five mana, in which case I need to actually draw the land that I put on top. Did I put... I hope I didn't put that tar pit on top. I, can, I can't remember now what I did. Um, and of course it doesn't say. Um, I was planning on shuffling them both away. If I put Tundra on top, then I can just draw the Tundra, play the um, play the explosives, and take care of it. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I guess. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, I can play the Tar Pit. And... Um, Go ahead and play Stone Forge. And I'll get the GK. Alright. Well, right now, I've gained some life. His cranial plating, if he has one, would be worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So we could swing for nine. He's got a frog mite. Ooh, he's gonna chalice. X is one. Well, if that's the case, I might as well get some of this stuff out of the way now. Um I'm going to go ahead and shuffle away the land. And I'll brainstorm. Okay, I could spell pierce it. He can only pay one. Do I want to spell pierce his chalice and leave my swords available? Yeah, I think I do. Um, so we'll put... Um, Mistress Factory, and then the Marsh Flats, and Spell Pierce. Okay. Right, so 26 to 11. I'm gonna hope he doesn't have another one of those. There's the cranial plating. Okay. Now it takes two black to attach at instant speed. He's gonna play an Ethersworn Canonist. Okay. So he won't be able to reattach this to something if he does want to beat in. Okay, so I can Swords the Frogmite in response to that equip attempt, which seems correct. That way, because he cannot uh, equip it into anything else, he's out of mana. Alright, so play GT. Equip. 
Whip. And swing in. All right, looking good now. Ooh, he's got a Ravager. Okay. Well, let's see. What do I want to do? And do I need to do something in response here? Because he can start um, loading up counters on something. And I don't think I want him to be able to load it up on the flyer. So I may want to kill the Ornithopter with the GTA tokens now. Um, yeah, it probably is what I need to do. Um, okay. All right, I have a couple options here. I can chump this, or I can um, uh, I can block with the batter skull, um, and then next turn I could equip um, to um, one of the stone forges, um, and I get a couple of counters that way. Um, also, let's see, what could I make that creeping tar pit not big enough to win? Um, so if I do do that. Then I can force him to start eating stuff to save it. But um, if, if I just double block here, then he can sack stuff to the Ravager and then pump this. But he's going to have to sack the Ravager to actually do that. Um, so that's one way. Double block with Stone Forges. He, he will definitely kill them. And he can make his guy live, but he has to lose Ravager to do that. So alternatively, I can keep just chumps and preserve life. Or I can do nothing, but uh, I think I will just go ahead and well, see if I block with the, could have moved the GTA to one of the stone forges too. Maybe that was would have been better, probably in hindsight. I could also just um, like I said, I could block here, get two counters on my GTA, but then I can't move everything over. So I think I will do the this chump. Let's see, what do I need to activate that? One, two, three, activate it, then I have one, two, three mana. So I could activate Tar Pit, put the GTA on the Tar Pit, swing in that way. Um, Hmm. Or I can just put the GTA on the Stone Forge Mystic post combat. It's probably still the best. Okay. Oh, he's going to do that so I don't get uh, counters? Okay. But you didn't uh, didn't put it, sacrifice anything else. Wait, why am I still getting counters? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't do combat damage. He sacked it? That, that doesn't make any sense. He sacked it in response to the... Okay. Because if he sacks that before damage, I don't get the charge counters. That really doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. 
Um, all right, I'll put the GK on Stoneforge Mystic and pass the turn. It's got another cranial plating. I'll just block here and use one to um, let's see one counter to get above um, so I can at least uh, kill this thing okay all right so that has um, Yep, GG's. Okay. So, all right. Yep, he scooped. All right. Anyways, um, I'm not quite sure. He went very all in in game one, and then game two seemed like a bizarre keep at first, although it had some explosive power um, once he drew a land. Um, but uh, anyways, um, I did not consider that to be a super awesome matchup, but I got a little bailed out by drawing into a lot of swords and plowshares. Um, so... Um, anyways, uh, a good, uh, good test match there, and uh, join me for some more battles here shortly.